As we've seen through the economic and financial crisis, money without values can maybe not create the world that we want. We explored impact investing, which at the time sat in the social entrepreneur space. We actually found there were lots of parallels with strategies that mainstream investors pursue, like value investing. It's really about finding a way to harness the power, the speed, the flexibility of the capital markets in the private sector um, in ways that are very much in concert with the public sector and the community's goals. And I do think that, frankly, at the end of the day, that's going to get repaid in spades. The people who are crowding around this now and putting money to work are the pioneers who found a reason to attach capital to it, to start, to start testing and putting it to work. As they begin to have success, it'll bring in that next wave. And I fully expect that the skeptics that are here today at some point will sort of be part of the wave that best matches to their own risk aversion and eventually we'll have the market that we want. We've seen impact investing become more and more popular over the past few years because investors want not only to create profits and financial returns, but also to do well in the world. We're really excited about the growing emphasis on impact investing. Um, We've been in this space for about a dozen years, have invested $3 billion. Impact investing suffered for a long time um, from a plethora of definitions and a plethora of players. Each brought their own definition to the table and that held the sector back for a long time. And therefore, a certain uh, skepticism still in what it really yes. means from an investors and how it can be integrated in a, in a portfolio. Impact investing is an intentional strategy to create both financial and social returns that's actively measured. If you're going to attract mainstream capital, really clarifying uh, that impact doesn't necessarily mean lower return. They have really the ability to execute a variety of strategies that, are, that conform to their existing kind of allocation needs, but also produce impact. We believe that the interests of the young generation will influence the actions of institutional investors dramatically in times to come, and impact investing will be part of that portfolio. Over the next four decades, the baby boomer generation is going to transfer $41 trillion of assets to the millennial generation. I think investors are going to have to think a lot more about businesses that do create societal, environmental, and economic impact. The more that we start thinking about some ecological balance and some social justice issues with some parts of our funds, I think we can live in a less volatile, more sustainable world. My hope is that over time, they will become something that is not the domain of the inspired philanthropist or the inspired capitalist who wants to try to mix the, the two disciplines, but that it's just a part of how we, how we run businesses. In the future, risk managers, financial analysts, um, equity analysts, investors themselves assume that, of course, we're going to be taking much more holistic views and analyses of environmental and social considerations. We'll start to see more capital be allocated to this and done so in a way that's prudent from a risk standpoint. Impact investing might not be a silver bullet, but it is a bellwether for what a lot of the millennial generation thinks is wrong with society or wrong with financial markets. Thank you.